Happy Monday everybody, welcome back to my channel. This week I'm going to be using a kit from Elizabeth Plans. She did just announce on her Instagram that she will be closing her shop very soon. She did also say she may do printables in the future, so I will still leave her link down below in case it's not closed just yet. I'm also going to be showing you these were well, last week's new release. These are washi strips that are printed on vinyl sticker paper so they're really nice and smooth and they're vibrant. So um, I was just seeing which ones that I wanted to use with the kit or which one went best with the kit. And then here I'm just going to be putting the date dots onto the date covers. I always stick them on my hand when I'm doing the date dots. Does anybody else do this or is it just me? Um, I did confuse myself as I got down because I thought there's not 31 days in April so luckily I um, realised before I stuck it down. I'm just going to be putting the date covers along the top. I didn't write out the dates this week or the dates are already in my planner, I just left them. I did use um, headers this week which I don't normally do because this was a full kit. Um, there were so many stickers I want to try and use them but then halfway through I thought actually I will come down a little bit and then I can definitely get at least two spreads out of this one kit. And then we're going to move on to the washi at the bottom. I decided not to cut it in half this week and just kind of centered it to my boxes but I used both pieces of washi so the larger one at the bottom and then the skinnier washi and then I grabbed my new washi strips that I released last week and I was just deciding which one to do. I decided to go for the Your Amazing sheet because, I don't know, they're just really positive quotes. So the one on the left just says stay positive and then the one that I'll use on the right it just says you're doing great which I think is an important reminder that we need to remind ourselves sometimes. Then we can go in day by day. Honestly I sit down to do a voiceover and everybody wants me. <laughs> so now I'm going to put my header down at the top and then I've put a half box down with the peekaboo poppet and just wrote hello Monday. I'm using the Papermate flare pen this week. I uh, love the pen. I love how smooth it is to write in. It's like a felt tip if you guys haven't uh, used one of these pens before. It's really nice and black too. And then I've put a poppet down working from home as my partner will be working from home because he has got his vaccination on Monday. So I'm going to mark that with a page flag and then I was trying to find an icon that I could use. In the end I decided on the, what do you call this, like a first aid looking box. Um, and then I just wrote down Trace vaccine and he's having that in the morning. And then I will be going to work. So I've used a poppet from the feeling sheet and just wrote down work all day. Talking about work on Friday, I have been at work maybe 10 minutes and I ripped my trousers. And I, I mean ripped my trousers. It wasn't even down the seam, it ripped the other way across. So um, yeah, slightly embarrassing. I had to wear my coat tied around my waist literally all day. Everyone else thought it was hilarious and Oh my goodness, I was so embarrassed. So I bought new trousers straight after work on Friday. Thank goodness, so I'm all set for Monday. But yeah, so that's what happened on Friday. Um, now we're going over to Tuesday. So on Tuesday, I want to get orders print and cut as well. So I've used a poppet from the planning sheet holding the stickers and just write down print orders. And then after I've done printing and cutting, I will then go and pack all of the orders as well. So I've used a poppet from the Happy Mail sheet. Then I've put down a to-do header and then my full box. And then after doing all of the printing and cutting, the state of my desk, <laughs> it's um, quite embarrassing actually. Uh, so I will want to tidy up my desk. So I've just used a desk doodle from my shop. I'm quite surprised at how messy it does get. They're only little poppets, yet they make such a big mess. I then used one of the poppet with the scarves on to mark that I want to go for a walk. So I've been sitting at my desk all day. It's just good to kind of get up and stretch your legs and just refresh the mind. And then for Wednesday, I wanted to put my checklist down and then I decided to use my tiny poppets just to cover up the hearts, which I think turned out really cute. So maybe I should release some checklist poppets as in a full box checklist. Let me know down below because I have already got checklist poppets in my shop but these would be on a full box. Um, and this was just for me to write down all of the videos that I wanted to film. 
and then I'm putting down my to-do header and I want to go and post all of the orders that I managed to get done on Tuesday. So for that, I've used a pop-it from the post and deliver sheet. I also want to upload my tiny video or my tiny planner video. Um, I missed it last week, so I definitely want to do it this week. So I've just used a PC pop-it and then I want to do some designing. So I've used the planning princess pop-it for that. Then I'm putting my full box down and I remembered I needed to put one of my COVID test stickers down. So I just decided to move my full box up and then stick that down at the bottom. It did cover the full box up slightly, but it looks okay. And I just wrote boys on there. Moving over to Thursday, oh, we've jumped. Um, all I done was put my full box down. The house icon is from my shop and that was for me to do some housework. I want to edit some videos that I have been filming so I used a laptop poppet for that and then a planning prints for me to do some more designing. And then I've put a poppet TV down as the Great British Sewing Bee. Well, it's normally on on a Wednesday, but I will watch it on Thursday night. And then I will also have a really nice long bath. So the little or the big poppet there is from the swim sheet. And then for Friday, I started with the full box up at the top. I then put down that I needed to work on an appointment label and then I've used a pop-it from the feeling sheet and I also need to remember to check my holiday dates from work so I've used a PC pop-it for that just to remind me because I have to do that online um, and I keep forgetting so I've written that down now and then I will want to FaceTime my sister so for that one I've used a phone pop-it. I also need to create a new playlist on my phone for me to listen while I'm at work. Sometimes I'll do it on Spotify and then sometimes I'll just download music and put it onto my phone. But I've just used the little Walkman or it's the bigger sticker that comes with the music icons from my shop. And then heading over to the weekend, I've put my two headers down at the top. I also used a weekend banner this week and I haven't used a weekend banner for ages looking through my planner i think i've maybe used one or two throughout a whole year it's just something that i've kind of fallen out of using which i hadn't really realized up until now um and then on saturday we want to go and pick up a carpet cleaner and then i have got a new release coming out on saturday so if you're new to my channel i have a new release in my shop every saturday and i've put that onto a half box and then the poppets that i've used is from the couple sheet also going to pop down and see my mum and dad and I'll take the children with me and so for that I've used one of the Poppet family poppets. Poppet family poppets? Family of poppets. Um, I've written Nanny and Dangrad down. Uh, Dangrad is kind of a name that just randomly come out. I think it was my youngest son struggled to say granddad so it come out as Dangrad and it's kind of a name that's just stuck. Um, and then over on Sunday, I've put down the toaster, which is from the coffee and toast sheet and just wrote down a good morning. I don't really have many plans for Sunday other than I want to edit and do some voiceovers on the videos that I would have filmed. And then I also do a COVID test while well, me and my boys do it on a Sunday. And we've kind of got into this routine on a Sunday while we're waiting for the results to come, which is about half an hour. Then we normally sit down and we play games or we play cards or we'll do something so I've put that down there and then for my sidebar I've popped the full box up a little bit so it's kind of level with the top of my date covers just to extend the amount of space that I have and I thought I would do a tracker as my partner's having his vaccine on Monday and then I can track if he has um, a headache temperature or body aches some people seem to have been absolutely fine and then other people have been quite poorly so I just thought I would track it in my sidebar. I've used a poppet savings sticker because I'm putting some more money over into savings and then I decided to put a next week section so I don't get confused with what videos are coming out because I've been putting up three videos a week lately on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I just want to write them down so I know what's coming out and when. And then as I was doing that, I realized I'd forgotten to write down that I've got a video coming out on Friday again. It's going to be my, I set up like a, what do you call it? Like a memory planner kind of hybrid thing <laughs> that's coming out on Friday. 
I also have got my bullet journal, which I'm not sure if it's going to come out this weekend or it'll come out next week, but that'll be coming up as well. But that was it for this week's spread. Here's everything that I've got left. I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's video and wherever you are, I hope you're having a lovely day and I'll speak to you next time. Bye guys.